I'm Kamar Shima, and we're going to talk about the successes and failures of the Ban Ki-moon. The UN Secretary General was born in the Republic of Korea on 13 June 1944. Ban Ki-moon was 8th Secretary General of the United Nations from January 2007 to January 2017. On 21st June 2011, he was unanimously re-elected by the General Assembly for a second mandate. He succeeded Kofi Annan and has been preceded by Antonio Gutters. 72 years old Ban Ki-moon was a career diplomat and a former foreign minister of South Korea from 2004 to 6. He held stewardship of the United Nations in times of turmoil. He had huge challenges when he took office. We are living in an age of complex interdependence and world is connected by common humanity. When people face inequality, disenfranchisement, get powerless, overlooked and get abused then they look at institutions or go at battlefield. United Nations was created to manage these forces and to mainstream them so that they can live under constitutions and can get favorable environment for moving ahead. Successes of Ban Ki-moon His first major initiator was 2007 Climate Change Summit. At the end of his office, he was able to make World Agree on Paris Agreement in which World agreed for dealing with greenhouse gas emissions, mitigation, adaptation, and even giving finance which to, which to start from 2020. 194 members of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change signed Paris Agreement by December 2016, whereas 120 states have ratified it. Efforts to focus on world's main anti-poverty targets, the Millennium Development Goals replaced by the Universal Development Goals have generated more than 60 billion in pledges with a special emphasis on Africa and the new global strategy on women's and children's health. Creation of UN Women, a major new agency that consolidates UN's work in this area. His advocacy of women's rights and gender equality has also included the Unite to End Violence Against Women campaign, the Stop Rape Now initiative, the creation of a network of men's leaders and the establishment of a new special representative on sexual violence in conflict zones. Ban Ki-moon has sought to strengthen UN's peace efforts including through the New Horizon Peacekeeping Initiative, the Global Field Support Strategy and the Civilian Capacity Reviews. A package of steps to improve the impact of the 120,000 United Nations Blue Helmets operating in the world's conflict zones. He has also sought to strengthen humanitarian response in the aftermath of the mega disasters in Myanmar 2008, Haiti 2010 and Pakistan 2010 and mobilize UN support for the democratic transitions in North Korea and Middle East. Mr. Bond has sued to rejuvenate the disarmament agenda through five-point plan efforts to break the deadlock at the conference on disarmament and renew the attention to nuclear safety and security in the aftermath of the tragedy in Japan in nuclear power plant. Let's talk about the failures of Ban Ki-moon. He was criticized for not speaking against the human rights abuses in China and Russia. In the second term for the UN's handling of the cholera epidemic in Haiti and its failure to deal effectively with the sexual abuses by the UN peacekeepers in the Central African republics. Israel-Palestine peace agreement is still a distant prospect, although UN Security Council voted a re resolution con condemning Israel settlement on land, Palestinian claim for the state, as well as Palestinian attack in Israel. Ban admitted that the Security Council was failing because of the division among member nations looking out for their own interest. Powerful patrons on both sides have blood on their hands. Kashmir remains an unresolved issue in South Asia. Despite human rights violations, UN and Ban Ki-moon failed to bring hold in human rights violations in South Asia. UN Human Rights Council's failure to open an international investigation into the violations of the international humanitarian law and violations and abuses of human rights law committed as part of the devastating conflict in Yemen. More than 10,000 people have been killed in this conflict. Numerous allegations of rape and sexual abuse by the United Nations peacekeepers have surfaced in such countries as Haiti, the Central African Republic, Kars, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Just last year, there were 99 allegations of abuse. Ladies and gentlemen, please keep watching our website that is fibernet.org and do visit our YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter pages. Thank you for watching the video.